What's up guys, I'm Matt Drury and this is DOD TV. Lee Novotny heads to Kansas in hopes of ending a five year hunting drought. With only three hours left on the very last day and a clock a ticking, Lee spots a monster stud and decides to put a little rage in that cage. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by the Bullseye Camera System by SME. See your point of impact on your target from up to a mile away with this easy to use wireless target camera. Monday, November 6th. This is our final morning of our hunt. We've been here, I think, six or seven days. We've had a rough go of it. Uh, we anticipated the rub would kick in based on the weather and the moon phase a little bit earlier uh, in the week, but it's just now starting here. So this is a stand that we set a couple days ago, and it's a travel corridor inside the timber, which we haven't been inside this timber at all yet. The clock is ticking, the sun has come up, we're about three hours from having to leave Kansas and the movement picks up. And all of a sudden, here he comes. Right here, Lee. This buck comes out of the back of the woods, the middle of nowhere. Instantly, my heart is pumping. Don't move, don't move, don't move. That thing is a stud, dude. So this big guy walks in, walks by, looks like he's gonna go downwind, and I thought he was gonna walk away forever, but there's still one doe standing right in front of the tree stand, and it brings him in like a string. Hey guys, I'm Tim Cheldvik, and today, I'm in the DoD Gear Lab analyzing the Wi-Fi enabled spot shot scope camera by Shooting Made Easy. With the Wi-Fi enabled spot shot, high def video is sent to one or even multiple devices simultaneously. Run time on one charge is a conservative eight hours or so. The only button on the unit is the power button located dead center on the backside. The LED above the power button glows red when charging and green when on, so it's pretty simple to use. Mounting the spot shot is a snap. Turn the top ring on the camera to widen or narrow the chucks. The spot shot will accommodate eyepieces from one to one and a half inches wide. Now, if you're someone who spends a lot of time behind the glass, guiding or hunting with family and friends, or maybe you just wanna capture more pictures and video of the critters you're chasing, definitely check out the spot shot. Six by five. Last day of the hunt. <laughs> well, November 6th here in Kansas, we finally got the job done. It is the, I think the seventh day of our trip. Uh, we only had enough time to get into the stand this morning for a few hours before we had to leave and head back home. And then this guy came over to check all three does that we had uh, in front of us, except for there was one doe fawn that remained right in front of the tree stand, and uh, that was the last one he checked. Put himself at 25 yards right in front of the tree stand broadside. Uh, I couldn't be any happier. I've been waiting to get back to Kansas. It's been a five-year endeavor. We got the job done. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DoD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of Bow Madness and all of our outdoor channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.